All right, everyone, welcome to this Minecraft tutorial video here on the channel. And within this video, I've got something pretty cool to show you that you can use with items in the game using commands. And as you can see here, I have two never stars. And the thing that's weird about these two never stars here is, as you can see, they are not combining together. So for some reason, the game separates these two never star items and it's not immediately obvious why that is the case because there is no different uh like custom name on them uh there's no enchantments on them there's literally nothing special that you can see with your own eyes but they are considered different and that is going to be the subject of this video here because one of these never stars has custom data assigned to it and when that happens in the game they are considered different to each other which i find pretty dang cool in the game here now if we go into the inventory here you can see one of the never stars has 10 components on it and this one has 11 components on it so this one has additional data inside it or inside the data tags it's actually got which makes it different from this one so technically you could then consider this one is different to this one and that has a lot of different uses in various things and you can do a lot with this it's actually quite powerful I'm in Minecraft 1.21.4 and I'm on the Java edition this is only available for Java edition unfortunately we're using a custom data component in Minecraft to get this to work. And I'm going to be showing you two commands here. Uh, this first command actually gives the custom data item to the player. So you can see now I have two of these. And this one right here is pretty, pretty similar. This actually spawns an item entity that can be picked up by the player. So this is a custom data item you can actually be picked up by the player so basically this custom never star actually has an owner tag on it that i've actually put inside of the custom data and i've actually assigned my name to it so that is how i've made it different to the ordinary never star right here as you can see so without further ado here I'm going to be showing you in a text editor how I got this to work and the commands so you can actually try this out for yourself. Now, in order to get this to work, you're going to need some item IDs for these commands here so you can select what item you want to do this for. Uh, in order to actually do that, it's pretty, pretty simple. Make sure to use the F3 and H key and make sure the advanced tooltips are shown in the game. And if you actually do this and you hover over items in your inventory or in the creative area, it should give you the item ID for that item in gray in the tooltip. So we have Minecraft colon raw underscore gold in this particular case. And we also have a target block here, Minecraft colon target. So that is how you specify what item ID you need to actually do these commands here. All right, everyone, we're now inside the text editor right here. And these are the commands we're going to be going through. And I would urge you to watch this part of the video so you get to understand how the command works and so you can learn more. And I will put these commands in the description below so you can check them out for yourself and copy and paste them into your Minecraft and so on. But uh, the first command is the gif command where we're giving the never star to the nearest player. And it's pretty simple to do a custom data item. So we got slash give at P, which is the nearest player. This is the item ID we're using, Minecraft colon never underscore star. And then because we're using a give command, we're going to do square brackets here because we are adding components and we're doing the Minecraft colon custom data. So this is the custom data component. And within here, in the curly brackets here, I have created an owner tag and I have assigned Draki my name to that item. 
So that is how I've made the item different just by adding custom data to the item, which is pretty, pretty cool. Now, the second command is very, very similar. This summons the item entity that can be picked up by the player. We're doing it two blocks above the command block here, and we're doing an item tag with the ID uh, never star here. And we're doing count as one. And then in the components area, we are using exactly the same data for the custom data components. Now, there's a lot of different things you can actually do with this. So in the commands I have given you, I am just using a string tag. So owner is Draki, but you can do lots of different things with this. So you can do a value, an integer value you can add to the custom data. And you can also do a collection as well. So in this case, we have some coordinates and I have provided a group of three numbers using this syntax here. But these are just examples of what you can do. You can actually do more, more than this, but this is just some examples of what you can do with the custom data component as a whole. So anyway, Hope you guys enjoyed this part and you've learned something new in this section here. All right, everyone, thank you for watching this video right here. If you did learn something new and you enjoyed the video and want to support the channel, be sure to like, share and subscribe. It'd be very much appreciated. And make sure to hit the bell so you're notified of new videos here on the channel. If you want to check out my socials, they are on screen and in the description. And if there's any other tutorials you want me to do, let me know in the comments down below and I may do it for a future video. But uh, stay happy and healthy, everyone. Hopefully you have a nice day and see you next time.